Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to one of our favorite spots, Venerable Soldier Field in Chicago. Ahead, we'll decide the second entrant to next week's NFC title game as we've got a great one in store between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Chicago Bears. Who will punch the fourth and final ticket to the conference championship round? We'll know soon enough as we are underway here on a January afternoon. scrimmage you just want to give yourself a nice simple throw and hopefully get yourself into a rhythm that is the last thing you're expecting and now you put your defense in a tough spot right from the word go his way forward here for a modest game. Give him four yards there on the first down keeper. But if you're going to run the read option, typically, you've got to keep an eye on the defensive end. And what does that mean? What are you looking for with a defensive end? Well, you want to play off of what he does. If he collapses inside towards the running back, then you pull it and take it yourself outside in. If he stays outside, you go ahead and leave it with the running back. In this case, pulled it and got good yardage himself. They go play action. Mariota. He'll buy some time right. And that is caught. Touchdown, Bears. Trey Burton, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears have taken the early lead. Things could just not have started any better for them. They get the turnover, the football right away, able to capitalize on offense for six. And we're talking about setting a tone in any game, right? The first points of the ball game. How about during the playoffs? Vitally important, and they've done that in this one. Parkey adds the extra point, and it's now a 7 nothing game. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense now gets set to head back onto the field. And what they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. <laughs> see what happens. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. 
And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Here's second and seven now from the 28. On second down, here's Wentz. They dump off underneath to Ajayi. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Wentz to throw on second down. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. It's a loss of two. Now third down. catch took him two yards in the wrong direction so now what can they do on third shotgun now for Wentz and he can't come up with a pick nearly his second of the game instead fourth down but nearly another interception there that would have been two drives in a row with a pick he's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying interestingly that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive but fell incomplete on his Kern the punter to send this one away that's fielded at the eight yard line a very good return that time 18 yards and the Bears take over Onto the field now come the Bears. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven-zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say, when you're running the big-time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. On the read option, it's Mariota. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Two yards the gain on the keeper, and it's second down. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Naeem Hines, his first carry. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels.
Rocky. This one a bit less, but it is a first down. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 45-yard line. Hey, 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 hey. A first carry now for Jordan Howard. And an alley to run. Touchdown, Chicago. Jordan Howard, 45 yards. And the Bears will extend their lead. Caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything. At least three points get that zero off the board. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now Wentz throwing on second down. Pressure, and he's taken down. A bear sack. Khalil Mack coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston Company with some work to do after the sack. Working from the gun, Wentz. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. I think the punter might start to get into a pretty good rhythm here if he keeps getting opportunities. But that's the last thing his team wants to have happen, right? The last thing you want to see is your punter feeling pretty good because he's out there all the time. Yeah, first quarter only, but they're 0 for 2 on third down conversions to start this thing. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. They begin the drive with Hines. And room to run as he's up past the 35-yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. One, one, one. Set, blue 18. Second down, Mariota. Oh, did he hang on to it? He did on the dive. Nice grab. Give him 30 yards there. A Hall of Fame coach once said, there are no medals for trying. And that wasn't a trying effort, was it? That was a winning effort. How about that great catch? Excellent. They know, hey, you lose this game, you get a ding or two. You got seven months to heal. They're going to go all out. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. First down, they run with Howard. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. 
I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. going to set up a third and one. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. On third and one, here's Mariota. Finding Gabriel complete. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. A pretty sizable deficit here in the first quarter. This defense probably need to get off the field in those situations on third down. And you and I both know in this huddle before that last third down play, that's exactly what they talked about. Let's make a play. Let's get off the field. Let's reverse the momentum. Instead, they got hit with another first down, almost back to the drawing board. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis back with you as it's Bears football here to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. on the pickup and it'll be second and very short a well, lot of praise on this drive obviously I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing those guys up front they're getting it done doesn't matter what play is called they are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive now a second down throw for Mariota this will be caught at about the five and he is in touchdown Chicago Taylor Gabriel, a seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Bears will add on to their lead. Parkey with the extra point, and it's now 21 to nothing. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. From the gun, it's Wins. Ertz has it left side. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. Hang in there, Hang so in from there, the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Wentz now on first down. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Alshon Jeffrey, the intended receiver. And it's second down. 
and that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. So line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. Now Wentz on the bootleg, rolling to his right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And a nice gain of 21 yards. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Busting through contact. Just wasn't a huge hole there for him to operate. Stopped just inside the 35-yard line. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? To throw, it's Wentz. Wide open receiver complete. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. They'll run it now out of the gun. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. 12 more yards there and another first down. And that's the big fella's M.O. right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. This defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. They'll try to run with a Johnny. And no signal yet. I don't think he got in. He didn't. They'll mark him at the one. Call it no gain, and it's going to be second and goal. Another shot from the one on second and goal. He'll get it up the middle, and he will take this one in for an eagle touchdown. It's the fullback punching it in from a yard away, and the Eagles get a score closer. Down three scores already. This game was really in danger of getting away from them. They needed a drive like that, especially on the road. Not only to calm themselves, but maybe tamp down the crowd a little bit because everything was against them. As you noted, this game could have gotten away from them very easily, but instead, the calming drive, now they have a little bit more confidence. Okay, we're back in it. All right, we're ready to go. That was impressive. And the defense now needs to reciprocate. The Bears' offense now heading back out onto the field. And the ledger for them so far looks pretty good, doesn't it? It certainly does. Touchdown, touchdown, touchdown. <laughs> Not sure it could be much better than that. They've got to feel very good about the groove that they're in at this stage of the game. Here's a handoff to Hines to begin the drive. And not a whole lot doing there as he'll get it up to about the 28-yard line. The Pro Bowler Fletcher Cox there to get him down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, let's run let's some go, clock. Go. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Mariota now on second down. And that one was nearly picked. Not sure he was accounting for the free safety. Now it brings up third down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet man because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. 
They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Now he's flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Going to throw right side here, complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Two minutes to play here in the first half. Back with more NFC playoff action after this. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to be met at about the 43. Tackle made that time by Brandon Graham. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the gun, Mariota. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It's a gain of five on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. touchdown pass of the afternoon and the Bears will extend their lead Parkey adds the extra point and the lead now to three touchdowns at 21 here's Parkey now set to kick it away fielded about a yard deep and a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. And what do you think goes on here in this situation? If you got the football, you're trailing, you're back in your own territory with just a little time. Do you try something? You're thinking about jump-starting your team, right? You just mentioned it. They're down. They're trying to get back into the game. But you've got to figure if something goes wrong, you may have put yourself in a spot where you may not be able to come back in the second half. Managing risk. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. 
Eddie Jackson picks it. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. going to call the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So first and 10 now from the 30. here on first down and this is Gabriel on the catch and they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24 now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one shy of the 10. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. First down, Mariota. Eluding the pressure right. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. And we're going to get a timeout. With two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And Parkey's kick is good. So we've come upon halftime here in this NFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Elliott now to kick this one away. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Let's go, let's go, let's nice go. first half that we've had, guys. But be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. They'll begin the drive with Howard. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Well, they had to run for no gain. Now they'll try again from the 25 on second and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. He gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. The Bears on third down, a perfect four for four thus far. This will be third and five. Mariota to throw it. Over the middle complete. It's Burton. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Easy, easy, easy. 
They'll run it now out of the gun. And very little daylight there. They'll get a couple up to the 44. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. thing to no one here he throws it away and now it's third what's the old adage be quick but don't hurry well that went right out the window there he was hurried harassed <laughs> that ball had to be gotten rid of otherwise he was going to get sacked The Bears on third down no problems to this point a perfect five for five this is third and eight at the 43-yard line. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. It kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up at the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. to Jai. And they're able to bring him down at the 20. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral, also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. some space past the 25 to the 27 seven yards on the pickup there and it'll leave them with a second and three well no matter how they phrase it staying on schedule staying ahead of the sticks whatever you want to call it seven yards on first down that fits the bill operating from the 27 now here's second and three They'll throw it. Wentz. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's able to get out to the 32. Brought down there. Two catches now in this divisional round matchup. That one, a first down. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Come on now. Come from on the now. 32 now. Here's first and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. 
No yardage Hang to be there. found. Hang in there now. Great 15. Great 15. Throwing his wins. An interception made by Alshon Jeffrey. His first reception of the divisional round matchup, but it's good for a first down as well. They've really been able to contain Alshon Jeffrey. That catch a rare exception in this game. And that's a feather in their cap because he's such a tone setter for his team on offense that they try and get him the ball early. And, of course, what comes after that is often. And for them to limit him and him not catch a ball until the second half, it's a big reason why his team is behind. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And the return this time will go out to the 42-yard line. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look at the offense and say, what's going on with your scheme? Maybe we should look at the defense and just give them a whole lot of credit. They've got them frustrated right now. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10. Following the interception here, Mariota going for the deep ball. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Chicago. Trey Burton saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Bears add on. Parkey with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. Here's Parkey now, set to kick it away. Here comes Nelson. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. On second down, here's Wentz. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll bring up a third and one. if he could hold on. Instead, the drop means it'll be fourth down. And we're into the second half now, and this is an offense that continues to struggle to sustain a drive. Looks like they're just totally out of sync, whether they're running the ball, passing the ball like we saw there. I don't know. The rhythm seems off. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Philadelphia. And he uncorks a beauty. Best of the day. The Bears offense now getting ready to take over. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook, one play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was real easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. Right. 
They run again with Hines. And an alley to run. Through an opening, and there he goes. He's at the 40, the 20. Touchdown, Chicago. Naeem Hines, 95 yards. And the Bears continue to pour it on. So, my man, another touchdown. They're looking like the number one seed that they earned throughout the year. Looking pretty dominant right now. We knew the road to the Super Bowl would run right through this stadium. Somebody's going to have to come in here and beat these guys. Good luck. Yeah, I don't think it's happening this weekend. No, definitely not this weekend. And for anyone else out there, bring your game. Buyer, beware. Here's Parkey now set to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Go, go, Sense of go. urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Tight to your right, tight to your right. Great, great. Hey, 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 guys, guys, check me out, check me out. We got three. Wins to throw on second down. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he's able to get up here to the 26. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. Now Wentz on third down. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Adrian Amos with a pick. And they will score a pick six for the Bears touchdown. Now parking for the extra point. He adds the extra point, and the lead will swell by one more. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And they gave up the pick six, and now they'll be looking to right the ship here. Now, as a quarterback, are you a little more cautious this go-around? You should be, <laughs> just because after what you gave up. But you can't be so cautious as to just really take things in, and now you're not going to play loose enough to give your team a chance to score. But you still have to be careful because those defensive guys, I know the reputation defense guys can't catch. All evidence to the contrary on that last possession, though. <laughs> Flushed out right. They juked him. Evades the tackler, and now some space. Missed. Missed. This will not go down. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky athletic. No, he's athletic. Watch him do it. He's an integral part of the quarterback run game, and he gets it done very, very well. Yeah, you don't like sneaky athletic, do you? That's no, just not, kind of a jab in the back. Yeah, not when it doesn't apply. I think that's a stereotype that needs to be broken down for him. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, stack, stack. On first down, Wentz. Caught right side, it's Jeffrey. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. Alshon Jeffrey so dangerous even when a defender's near him. He's got such a big body, ability to run, positions himself well, excellent control, and you're exactly right. Even if people are draped on him, he often comes up with the catch. He really symbolizes what people are looking for in receivers in today's NFL. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. 
Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flag as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. They'll run it now out of the gun. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. The offense on third down tonight, not good. 0 for 4 thus far. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. They run with a giant. They'll be marked inches short. No gain on the play. And that's going to lead them to fourth down. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. A field goal does you no good, so they're going to stay out there and go for it on fourth. They come out here in the eye. And he's in. Broad Eagles touchdown. It's the fullback, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Eagles able to get this back to within at least some measure of respectability. Elliott good with a PAT as they make the score just a slight bit more respectable here in the final quarter of play. Elliott now to kick this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. We've got a lopsided game here. I, I don't know, Charles, what does the handbook say that we, <laughs> we discuss when we've got a game like this in the fourth quarter? Hold on a second. Let me, let me thumb to the proper page on that. Know what it says? Ohio! What? Let's Ohio! discuss how we got here. This is a dominant performance. Where they took control of this game. How they managed to keep control of this game. And then we go ahead and think about how we're going to leave here and get to the airport. <laughs> In a lopsided blowout, the roads are usually open. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Time for a break. This one, all over but the shouting. We'll finish it after this. They stay on the ground again. It's Hines. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to be giving a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Defense still with three timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them here as the kneel down comes. And they'll indeed take a knee. Four down, four down. Hot! 
And they take a knee. So they stay alive in the NFL playoffs, move on to the conference championship. And do you think that the printing press is starting to get those T-shirts and hats ready, my friend? They have to, Brandon. They have to be ready because if you win, you've got to hand those out on the field right away. And just think about the pressure for the players now. Families are going to be talking about tickets to the Super Bowl even before you play the conference championship game. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry.